Never Ending Storytime presents Over the Moon, an Adoption Tale Once upon a time, a teeny tiny baby was born. That night, a woman far away had a dream. She dreamed she saw the baby in a basket surrounded by beautiful violet flowers and birds of many colors. Her husband dreamed of the same child. He saw her beside the sea and mountains, smiling a little smile, and he knew she was the child they had been longing for. The very next morning, the telephone rang. Maybe someone is calling to tell us their baby has been born, said the daddy. But it was not. It was Grandma Bernice. Is the baby coming soon? she asked. Oh, yes, said the mommy, very soon. Later, there was a knock at the door. Maybe that is someone with the good news, said the mommy. But it was not. It was Mr. Cherry, the fruit seller. Is your baby coming soon? he asked. Everyone wants to know. Oh, yes, said the daddy, very soon. At dusk, the sky turned blue and darkness rolled over the city. Molly, the little girl from next door, peeked in the window. I can't wait to see the new baby, she said. Soon, soon, said the mommy and daddy together. You will see the baby very soon. The moon came out, the stars twinkled, and the telephone rang once more. Your baby has been born. She is wonderful. Come quickly and get her. At last, they cried. And they began to pack diapers and stuffed bunnies, little pink bottles with funny nipples, a stroller with green wheels, pajamas of the softest cotton, teeny tiny t-shirts, a shiny new rattle, even a new baby blanket with sparkles and lace. Out the door they ran, into the car they jumped, and off they drove to get their baby. Quickly, quickly they sped over the bridge, past the park, and to the airport. There they flew away on a giant airplane to a faraway place where their baby was waiting, over the moon and through the night. until finally they arrived and went to a hotel to unpack. Then they hurried and scurried about, getting the room ready for their new baby. Soon, soon, our baby will be here soon, they told each other as they waited. Then through the window, they saw her, carried by the kind people who had taken care of her. The door opened and there was the baby all soft and small. At last, she was in her new mommy's and daddy's arms. Over the top of the blanket, two tiny eyes looked up at them, and the mommy and daddy looked back at her. Then they hugged her and hugged her at least a hundred times. They were so happy. Still, the new mommy and daddy were nervous. They had never taken care of a teeny tiny baby before, but they fed her and changed her and played with her and bathed her. And before they knew it, their first day as a family was over and they could not wait for the next one to begin. That night, they took the baby out to see the stars where they told her the story of how she came to be their little girl. You grew like a flower in another lady's tummy until you were born, but the lady wasn't able to take care of you, so mommy and daddy came to adopt you and bring you home. Even before you were born, we dreamed about you. We knew we were meant to be together. The next morning, it was time to leave. Goodbye palm trees and birds. Goodbye violet flowers and mountains. Then. They were home. Everyone was there to welcome the new baby.
That first night, the parents lay their baby down to sleep and said, Forever and always, we will be your mommy and daddy. Forever and always, you will be our child. And they kissed her good night. The end. Author's note. In 1991, my husband and I traveled to Central America to meet the baby who was to be our daughter. We spent weeks getting ready, and the feeling of that day was something I wanted to be able to share with Lena when she was older. Having the opportunity to express the magic of adoption with paint and words is a great joy to me. It is my gift to our daughter and to the children and parents who have shared this journey. Never Ending Storytime is by design intended to fulfill the needs of all children by providing stories that can be enjoyed either with the sound on or off. It is our mission to inspire children to discover, imagine, create, and explore through books. Life is always better when it's shared, so next time you visit, bring a friend. If you enjoyed the story, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to receive a new story each week. Feel free to comment below with any book requests or recommendations. Thank you for joining us. You can find this book if it's still available, along with other gently used books, at my eBay store, Dice Outside the Box. Dice is an acronym for Discover, Imagine, Create, Explore. 10% of all purchase sales made at my store are donated to Doctors Without Borders. If you prefer a brand new copy of this book, you can find one at Amazon. Books make great gifts and can be easily shipped anywhere, but are best appreciated when personally delivered. I challenge you to grab a few books and go to your local children's hospital and try it. If you discover, imagine, create, explore, you will be changed forevermore. Produced by Never Ending Storytime, read by Nicole Monique Miller, written and illustrated by Karen Katz. If I'm honest, I have to tell you, I still read fairy tales, and I like them best of all. Audrey Hepburn.